So, uh, if you have any questions about uh, buying a car or selling your car to your SA, why you would do it, then listen to this video. Hi guys, so here we are at the office in Canada and I kind of wanted to go over our sale of our car to our SA. So here we had to do some changes to the video because it was showing personal information which is not allowed by YouTube. So we changed some things here in the video, but enjoy this introduction as to what we had to do to get this video back up. Hey, and I can tell you, look at all these documents. It's just incredible. Uh, so one of the reasons we sold our personal car to the SA, it allowed us to increase the value of our SA and revalidate our permits or our residency as investors. Uh, so we'll go over that a little bit. As you know, the application requires you to show investments of minimum of $30,000. We, of course, were over that, but guess the company itself had a value of $22,000. We had to reframe it because, um, yeah, it's all about valuations and how you write it up. And uh, we are using Paul Tiffer. A lot of you guys uh, know him. He's the, the immigration lawyer in Managua that has very, very good relationships uh, with the uh, Ministry of Investment, so MIFIC, as well as INTUR. And as you remember, there are two ways well, really three ways to get your residency. One is through MIFIC. MIFIC gives you two different residency. Yeah. The other one is through INTUR that gives you one residency, which is the jubilado, the retiree. Okay, so one of the things when you sell your car, you of course need to go get uh, this document, which is the validation uh, for uh, automotive uh, inspection, uh, so to speak. So the gas inspection, as well as the mechanical inspection, they check your lights and all that uh, stuff. Now, if it doesn't work, then they'll tell you what things that you will have to fix, the cost of fixing those, etc. But the CO2 levels uh, are always, can be a problem uh, with an older car. So ours was a problem, got it fixed, and then we pass the inspection. Here is one, and here's the other one. So that's one of the first steps we did. And the other step that we did at the same time is write the agreement to sell uh, the car. And that was uh, right uh, here where we sold uh, the car uh, to Aquino Mas, which is the company we own. Um, and then we had to get two different powers of attorney. One of the, our administrative manager, uh, because we didn't know if she was gonna come around with us to Managua. I decided to register the car in Managua because it's easier because the car was already registered in Managua. So we didn't need to get new plates and nothing of that sort. So the biggest area <clears throat> that we had a difficulty with was with the uh, Rook. This is the Rook here, which is the uh, corporate ID, tax ID. And as a lot of you know that have essays, to get the Rook updated and get all the different documents related to Rook can be a pain in the backside, okay? So that was one of the issues that we were having. And so I decided to go to Managua because I know Managua a little bit better. And uh, we also uh, took our power of attorney with us. Uh, even though I'm the owner, I cannot do the transaction, which is kind of weird because in the US, I could do everything by myself. Here in Nicaragua, you can't. You basically need uh, uh, somebody that has the power so I took uh, Israel along, who is also our driver. When I don't want to drive, he drives me around in our car. And then we also had to go in and get our DGI valuation of the car. Okay, here it is. 
And then when we get the valuation of the car, you go actually get this, and then you get this receipt here that shows that you paid. So the taxes on this car was uh, 5,190 for a 2017 Suzuki. And it basically ended up being a little bit more than for what we sold it for. So that was the tax um, implications or the value implications and the tax of DGI, which uh, uh, is around $160 I paid. So with that, I gave all that stuff to our accountant who then uh, updated our application to MIFIC to uh, get our company uh, registered with MIFIC and get us uh, two new cellulas, which is the uh, ID, immigration ID. Uh, here, I'll show you. Uh, this is my current one, okay? Nice mugshot. Uh, this is my current one, and I wanted to change my uh, permit or permiso uh, from a jubilado retiree under Intour, and I'm gonna do something that Paul told me nobody has ever done it. We did ask uh, MIFIC, the, uh, the ministry, if I could do it, and that is to transfer from jubilado to uh, the mythic residency, and they say, yeah, since you never used it, you were just jubilado, but you never used any of the incentives, uh, I could do it or pay back the incentives if I had used it, thank God I did not use them at all, so nothing had to be paid uh, to settle that account, and now we are in the process. Um, so yeah, so that gives you kind of a, a quick recap uh, what we did uh, in the past few days. In total, it took me two full days. Managua itself at the police station took us from nine o'clock till two o'clock, one o'clock, one, one thirty, something like that. So it wasn't really too bad, but the waiting, that is one thing. I'm still learning to be patient and wait, and especially when you're outside with the heat, it can be a little bit aggravating. But we got it done, that's all that counts. So, uh, if you have any questions about uh, buying a car or selling your car to your SA, why you would do it, then listen to this video, uh, and I gave you the reasons. I did it so that we could up the value of our investment and pass the minimum threshold. Uh, the biggest reason that we felt we could uh, uh, do that at 22 is because when we bought the company, we also had uh, nine employees in the company, and we felt that that would be the equilibrium of just showing a lot of staff, a lot of um, INS, which is the national security uh, expense that we do, which is around 3000 a month, that's what we pay. So we felt that Mythic would help us, but they said, no, you got to put your car or one of the cars into it and up your value. Got it done. All is uh, okay. Cost was 175 plus uh, all the other registration. I think the total what I paid was around $400. I'm not going to say it was painless. Uh, you know, when you spend $400, it's still uh, dollars that you have to invest in making. So, but it's all done. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, you know what to do. I'll write it down here. We also, in the description, will restate all the documents that we had to do. Thank you for watching and talk to you next time. Yeah, I, I just remembered one thing. I had to add the following comment. When I was talking about the power of attorneys, etc., and why I could not register it, well, since I was the owner of the company, and I'm also the owner of the company, I cannot register because I'm buying, uh, my selling my own car and buying it under the company, and I'm part of the company, and therefore my account, as well as the attorney told me that a third party had to do it for me. So that is what we did. Is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know, but I just did it, and guess what? We passed mustard, got it done, and so that is the only thing I care about is did I get it done?